Yes, guys. Good evening to all. I'm here again this evening. Instead of the now defunct Andrew Cigar Factory in St. Joseph once again. Andrew Cigar Factory closed its doors in 2013 under the leadership of the past government. As I said before, it was closed to be to reopen as a multi-purpose factory, but that did not come off, unfortunately. So it is now abandoned all the equipment taken out. From here we are looking at the Paris Hill and Andrews Tenantry, all in St. Joseph. I'm in the Eastern Parish of St. Joseph at the moment, which is a part of the Scotland district of Barbados. The Scotland district comprises of the parishes of St. Thomas, I mean St. Andrew and St. Joseph. And the parish of the North Hills and they refer to as the Scotland district because they resemble the Scotland countryside. This is the Andrews, former Andrews Cigar Factory. to the left here where that just came from it's taking back to the former bookkeeper's residence for Andrew's factory uh, I mean Andrew's plantation which is just down the road from here this is the tip of St. Joseph this is the beginning of St. Joseph this part of St. Joseph is close to St. George the Market Hill area and Grove's, um, Grove's Corner and it's also close to St. Thomas with Fisher Pond and Russia Gully. So the factory is now left abandoned with a high white fence surrounding it to keep out trespassers. So this is the main route to Bahiba and the east coast of the island. All the cane grown here. So the only factory remaining here in Barbados, the only sugar factory, is Port Vano, which is to the northwestern end of the island, in the parish of St. James, which is just north of St. Thomas Parish Church, along Highway 2A, off of Highway 2A. So Andrews and Port Vale was the lone remaining sugar factory here in Barbados after the closure of Buckley in 2002, but now that Now that and is closed, the only one remaining is Port Vale. <coughs> so Andrews used to mainly deal with cane coming from the east of the island, like St. John and possibly St. George. And Possibly St. Andrew, I guess. But no, the closure of Andrews. The only one remaining. All, all the cane has to go to Port Vale factory. So this was supposed to reopen as a multi-purpose factory, but that didn't come off. So now the factory is closed. And left in a state of disrepair. You can see all the equipment taken out. This is one of the this was one of the most famous sugar factories in Barbados after Butley's. This is one of the most popular factories, but sadly it is no more. You can see all the equipment taken out. 
even though I was told at the past that this present government plans to do something with it. But I'm not sure how true that is. So Andrew's plantation is just down the road from here. Heading towards Grove's Corner and Market Hill. By the way, this is my mother's birth parish. Before I know, but I have you know that the road is free, you can show you up to Andrew Tenantry and Paris Hill. It's all Paris Hill here, up in Paris Hill and Andrew Tenantry, where these houses are. Straight ahead, the road straight ahead will take you back to Paris Hill with the murals on the wall, the mural paintings on the wall, and will take you back to St. Anne's Church, St. Anne's Anglican Church. On the right turn, will take you back to Blackman's Corner and back to um, Granny Adams Memorial Secondary School and back to Horace Hill and Bathsheba. So this is my mother's birth parish and the parish where my family from my mother's side are arrived from. Well, my aunts, one of my aunts and two uncles uh, were all born in this parish in a place called Branchberry. All the equipment taken out of Andrew's factory, and there's no left abandoned. With a highway fence surrounding it to keep away trespasses. So this is the road that you will use to get a Bashiba. Or anywhere along the east coast, like Bashiba, Cattle Wash, Soup Bowl, or anywhere along that way, you will use this road. So, St. Joseph is to the east of the island. And this part of St. Joseph is to the center. It's bordering, Saint, it is close to St. Thomas and St. George. And it's close to a place called Russia Gully. Yes, guys, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the video. You can follow me on YouTube at Dan Rydmore. Or on Faith. I mean, follow me on YouTube at Dan Rides Barbados. Dan Rides Barbados Travel Vlogs is my YouTube name. On Facebook, it's Dan Rydmore. So you can get some more vlogs about Barbados. Thanks for watching and have a blessed evening.